How's it going guys? Shape here and welcome to the channel. This video is going to go over some quick and easy gold farms to add to your daily list. This will be the fourth episode of Lazy Farm Sunday and in case you missed the first three, here are the links to those videos. These videos are going to be shorter and to the point and should take you no more than a couple of minutes to do with almost no effort. Now as always, before I get into the video, I wanted to say that all the farms I'm about to go over could vary on your server's market and ability to do the farm. They aren't going to be farms to consistently count on, but those that are easily forgotten and are low effort but high reward if you get the items to drop. If you wanted non-lazy farms that are more consistent and not a quick turnaround, then I suggest you check out some of my other videos that cover those topics. With that said, let's hop into it and find out what farms I'm talking about. Be sure to turn on your notifications, make sure you have that bell rung, and drop a like so you don't miss any of my future content. The first farm I'm going to go over takes us out to the island right off the coast of Duswalla Marsh. That island is called Alcaz Island. Once you get into firing range, you will be dismounted by the turrets. I would suggest you take a character that has some form of gliding into here since you won't be able to fly once you're on the island. This could include mages, priests, or demon hunters. If you didn't have any of those characters, then you can also just take damage from the turrets on the walk in, or if you have a stealth class, that would be good as well. I chose to bring my demon hunter and just glide right into the building. It is the only multi-store building on the island, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. Once you're inside this building, you'll want to go all the way to the top floor and look for an NPC called Dr. Weevil. He is on a pretty fast respawn timer, so feel free to wait around a couple minutes if you don't see him up when you get here. We're going to be looking for a rare toy called Big Red Ray Gun. The easiest way to get this item is to have a character parked out at this location, just log in to see if it's up or wait a few minutes for the respawn. The drop chance is said to be around 3%, so it isn't the worst chance, but it is rather low. This item sells for around 30,000 gold on most servers. It is a slightly better sales rate of 0.07, so it will sell a little faster than Transmog or Battle Pets. Very easy and quick farm to just log in and check if it's up. The second farm I wanted to go over is going to take us right between Thunder Bluff and Bloodhoof Village. There is a rare called Mazranach that patrols around this area. Here are all the spawn points for this rare. The item to be on the lookout for is called Sleek Feathered Tunic. There are always only a few of these on the auction house because it has a pretty low drop chance of around 1.7% and they usually sell for around 31,000 gold. It is slightly above average in terms of sales rate for transmog at 0.03. Again, just park your character here and occasionally check to see if it's up. I would suggest swapping between War Mode on and off to see if you are having trouble with finding this rare. I usually check around reset and early in the morning and don't really have too much trouble finding this rare. If you wanted to camp the respawn, it is said to be around 2-3 to three hours, so good luck on that one. The last farm I wanted to cover will be the most expensive item that we covered today. This will take us out to Blades Edge Mountains and Outlands. A rare mob called Hermation will troll around this area. There will be multiple items to be on the lookout for from this rare. They all have 23-26% to 26 drop chance, so there's a pretty good chance you will get at least one of these items. They vary in price on most servers, but you can expect anywhere from around 15,000 gold all the way up to 100,000 gold on some of these items. The Drake Scale Tunic sells for around 15,000 gold and is the cheapest of these items. The Drake Weave Remnant sells for around 40,000 gold on most servers and has a US mean sales price of 95,000 gold. The Drake Scale Breastplate sells for around 40,000 gold as well. The last item is the Drake Scale Hoberk, which tends to be the most expensive item and has a mean price in the US servers at around 50,000 gold. On my server, the prices are currently between 125,000 to 133,000 gold. The only downside to this rare is it is on a very long respawn timer, some say up to 12 hours, so it probably isn't worth your time to wait on the respawn, but I would definitely park your character out here and do a couple of laps with and without war mode on to see if it's up. Well there you have it guys, the fourth episode of Lazy Farm Sundays going over some really quick and easy farms to throw into the mix of your normal farms. I hope you guys enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe and drop a like if you enjoyed the video to show some love for the channel, and I'll catch you guys next time.